Hey guys, October 14th, 21, 4.06 p.m. my time. I just got word that uh, Rob Skiba had passed. Don't know if it's legit fully or not because all the, according to all the websites that I have found, I've never heard of before. So we'll take it out with a grain of salt. Nonetheless, apparently he has been in the hospital since October 8th. At that time, he was placed on a ventilator. And then today, his heart finally gave out and he passed away. Today being the 14th of October, 21. So take it all with a grain of salt. I don't know if this is actual legit or not, but from the numerous websites, you can Google it. Just, you know, type in, you know, Rob Skiba and numerous websites will come up talking about his death. Apparently it was, it, uh, what he had been suffering from is called new coronary pneumonia, of which he was put on a ventilator for October 8th. So he's been on a vent this whole time. We all know what ventilators have been doing to people, man. As soon as they get admitted, they get stuck on a vent. It's pretty much been a death sentence to people. And it's terrible that clearly he didn't have a say in it. But anyways, if this is true or not, my deepest condolences to his family and friends and loved ones and to anybody out there you know, that feels the loss. He was a great dude, man. I didn't know him personally, obviously. He did a lot for everyone. Um, he's touched the hearts of a lot of people that aren't even Christians that are like saying stuff like he was the best Christian I ever knew. So, you know, we don't have to all agree with one another on certain topics so long as we agree on, you know, salvation and, you know, doctrines of that nature. But he did wake up millions of people, man. So, yep. You finished well, I suppose. Anyways, do your own research. And uh, hopefully it's false. But in the event that it's not, see you soon, Rob. Later.